Terminator shit is this? Get close. Give them to me. Fuck you, asshole. Take me, come on, Terminator. Sarah Connor, yes. Worthless, no good, goddamn freeloading son of a bitch. Retired big mouth, nor all asshole jerk. You forgot ugly, lazy, and disrespectful. Shut up, bitch. You fixed me a turkey pot pie. Fuck you, man. No, fuck you. No, fuck you, man. No. Fuck you! Hey, it's your old Connie from Soul and TV. I'm with Chino from the Deftones. And Ch with Chino from the Deftones. And Ch Lincoln Park, dude. Their, their fucking song sounds dead on when I watch songs. Who you're playing with tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you spoken to them about this? Oh, yeah. They got their feelings here, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I say, who cares? I mean, if you're influenced by somebody, it's, you know, it's different. If you deliberately rip off my song, I'll kill you. <laughs> It's like so kick back, man. Like yeah, everybody just kind of just does their own thing, and it's not. There's no like no competition whatsoever out here, you know, as far as like bands or like just anybody. Everybody's like supports one another, and everybody's cool. So we have a good time. So it's good for us, you know what I'm saying? It's good that people are, are can cross over and like all kinds of music and just yeah. enjoy. It. Charts nowadays, seeing that the Spice Girls are dominating these uh, this industry. It's okay, man. I don't mind it at all. I think um, our sales uh, are are good enough to where you know. It, keep, it keeps us alive, they, you know, and um, we probably sell just as many tickets as, like, the bands you see on, um, you know, on TV and here on the radio all the time, you know, was, we sell our shows wherever we play, so that's all that really matters, you know, and I think people respect that from us, that we don't really need a lot of backing from a lot of, you know, commercial, uh, you know, radio and our video airplay. It helps always, but, um, you know, our, our fan base has always come from uh, just word of mouth and us going to a big label, a trendy label like Maverick. Um, well, it's weird because when we started, it wasn't really a trendy label. It was like, we were like one of the second bands on the label. And it was before Lattice Moore said, before everybody, so. Um, you know what, they, they've, they've been like really cool. They always just give us our space to do whatever we want to do. Um, the only thing that they ever suggested to us was to do our last video that we did, to kind of, um, just the whole look of it. They wanted to make it look somewhat like 
more of a more of a MTV per se, you know, looking video. And that's the last time I'll ever do that again. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of gave in a little bit because they never tell you know ask us for anything, and I thought maybe it might be cool because it is one side of us. You know, what I mean, I think that look was one side of us, but um, you know, it, I just didn't feel comfortable at all doing it. Not, not too comfortable doing it. So. We're, I think we stand out a lot, you know, from the other bands on this tour because it's, this tour is mainly just like, you know, straightforward punk rock. So it's good for us, you know what I'm saying? It's good that people are, are can cross over and like all kinds of music and just yeah. enjoy it. So this is your third year running. Does it compare to past years or does this one shine a bit? Well, this one has to be the most unorganized, I gotta say. <laughs> but it's it's cool though. I mean, I like it's kind of like like our th like your third year in high school. It's like you know our junior year in high school, I guess. We don't really need a lot of backing from a lot of, you know, commercial, uh, you know, radio and our video airplay. It helps always, but, um, you know, our, our fan base has always come from uh, just word of mouth and us going touring.